Hey folks, Todd here from Image Wash Products. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna showcase our step one soaps and one of our platinum, which is our brush slash mitt soap. We're gonna apply them to this polished box. And you might ask why we're doing this. And the reason is, is that I've been in the polishing world for a long time. Uh, when I drove truck, I was always frustrated with going into truck washes and having my extremely well polished truck destroyed in a matter of a half an hour because of the soaps. So today what I want to do is try to help give some knowledge to people of what actually is going on on this nice polished box and um, what soaps are designed to do what and how they are going to react with the metals. We're going to start with the weakest which would be our platinum. That is a neutral pH brush hand mitt soap that you would use to wash your truck. Next, we're gonna roll down to our Touchless One, which is our number one soap in the two-step wash process. We're gonna show you full strength on this box, what it's actually doing. From there, we're gonna go down to our Pro Series chemicals. These are chemicals that we offer to larger trucking companies, truck washes, any, any sort of wash that you can think of for big rigs, buses, you name it. And we're gonna go through and uh, try to show you exactly what they're doing when you jump up to the, the Pro Series line. So our first one is gonna be our pack, which is our polished aluminum cleaner. Next, we're gonna go to our Touchless Pro, and we're gonna do that full strength. And then right behind it, we're gonna go Touchless Pro ready to use, which is formulated and titrated down to work on your polished truck and your step one process of two-stepping but still safe enough to maintain your high gloss and your high polish shine. From there, we're gonna to go to our Total Bright Full Strength, which is a step one low pH soap that is designed to brighten aluminum. So it will, it's gonna react and turn this nice and white, which is one of the pain points of washing with that soap if it's not calibrated correctly. And then from there, we're gonna do our, touch, our Total Bright One ready to use. So it's still going to be uh, titrated down to clean the truck well, but it's still not safe enough on mere polish aluminum. We use that soap. A lot of guys use that soap when they run rigs that do not have mirror shine to them. They're just looking to lightly brighten their truck in the two-step wash process. So like I said, we're going to roll through these. I'm going to dump it down and do a trail run. And the reason why we want to do that is because typically what happens in truck washes, uh, a lot of the, the pain points are towards the back of the sleeper or towards the front, anywhere where the soap is going to formulate a trail run and impact the surface continually at a, at a more stronger concentrate. So I'm going to start with our platinum. This is a traditional soap that most guys use in the bucket. They're gonna mix it up in a bucket, but I'm doing full concentrate. So you can see that it will not do anything to the aluminum. Next, we're gonna move on to our touchless one. This is a, a step one in a two-step process that you find in our retail store. Okay, so we've got a nice run going there. Next is our pack, which would be our polished aluminum cleaner. That's full strength. From there, we're gonna run to our Touchless Pro one. This is full strength, which is not safe on polished aluminum. And we're gonna see, we'll do the straight concentrate first. And then we're gonna do our ready to use next. So in this, this is ready to use. This is formulated at around 50 to one, 45 to one. We're gonna dump some on there. This is where it's gonna brighten. So you're gonna see immediate reaction to the aluminum. That's full strength. And then our last bit is gonna be our Total Bright One RTU at 135 to one. We found that to be a, a pretty good ratio to clean gram off trucks without continually to 
brighten the aluminum at a high impact. Okay, so now the soaps have had time to be on the surface. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take uh, our image glass cleaner and I'm just gonna spray it and wipe it down. I'm gonna start with this side over here because I don't wanna cross contaminate this over here. So we're gonna wash these three sections down first and then we're gonna work our way over here and clean those. Once, they, once I get them dry, then we'll zoom in and you can actually see what it did and what it didn't do to the, the polished aluminum. I think I got it pretty much clean now. Let the camera guy go in and take some pictures if you like. Okay, so now we got them all wiped off. Um, let's roll through it and let's see what each one did. So we're gonna start with our platinum here. Uh, the camera guy can get right up in there, kind of change angles if he has to, but I do not see one single chemical reaction on that piece with our platinum. Next is our Touchless One, which would be our retail version uh, for our two-step process. Once again, I don't see any sort of reaction with that on this polished aluminum box. Working our way down now to the pack which is a polished aluminum cleaner. That's full strength. Once again, no reaction. Now we're coming down to the Touchless Pro 1, which would be that area. So this is at full strength, and I do see exactly where it etched the aluminum. That's at full strength, which you would not want to use at full strength anyways when you're using that product. But we just wanted to show you what it would do at full strength. From there, we're going to go to our Touches Pro 1, and that's ready to use, and that was right around 45 to 1. Um, I do not see any reaction there on that section. So to me, um, that, that's very good. That's a common soap that guys use in truck washes, or they're supposed to use anyways. But um, yeah, so uh, working our way down to the more stiffer side, or more stronger side of the, the acids, and that would be our Total Bright One. You can obviously see a nice chemical reaction there where it whitened whiten the aluminum pretty good. And last but not least, the Total Bright One RTU, that's at like 135 to one. Um, you're gonna see a light, very light reaction. So keep in mind that um, when you get a box or a semi high polish like this, there's a lot of animal fats that go into it to help preserve the shine for a while. And when you have that first initial polish, um, there's some buildup of animal fat in the rouges that they use on there to help protect a little bit. So like I said on this very last one, you, the right angle you're gonna see it, but initially, the first couple washes, you're probably not going to catch it. Um, another thing to keep in mind is uh, temperature. Aluminum is a very poor substance, so what happens is, is that in the winter months, the pores are going to be condensed down to smaller. But in the summertime, when you run hot fuel in there and you got the elements of warm, the pores will open up and they're going to react with the metals or react with the soaps more so. And that's where you're gonna find if you use like a Total Bright that has brightening power in it, it might react a little more stronger in the summertime. But these, these less or weaker acid cleaners or low pH cleaners are not gonna react depending on what temperature it is because of the ingredients in them. So I don't wanna go too far into the, the ingredients on them, but basically just showing you how these these uh, chemicals react with aluminum and polished metals because a lot of guys spend a lot of money um, to polish these up and maintain it and that's probably one of the worst or biggest pain pain struggles is when you go to truck washes and your aluminum gets damaged right away after you just spent thousands of dollars to get it shined up 
One of our goals, our main goals, is to get knowledge out there, head knowledge of what these soaps are doing in your two-step washing, even in your brush wash, to show you that there are products out there that are safe to use when mixed right. And that way um, you can be 100% confident that you can use these, these two-step soaps without wrecking or damaging your, your nice polished aluminum. I appreciate everybody's time. Um, I hope this helps everybody. This is one of my passions. I know how much work it goes into shining this type of meadow up. And like I said, I just want to get some knowledge out there to help you guys trust and know that we, we have done our research. We continue to implement and to come up with products all the time. There's always going to be better ways of doing it. And that's just the nature that we live in. Um, industry, there's always going to be the next greatest thing. So that's my focus is to keep doing that as years come. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. On our website, you will see a B2B or Pro Chemical tab. If you are wanting to step your game up or have a big trucking company or whatever, give us a call. We'll, we're more than happy to go through these things and help you out and get you some chemicals. So thank you so much. Todd, once again, from Image Wash Products.